Welcome back to my channel, everyone. So in today's video, I've decided to dive into animation. And one of the things I wanna show you is how you can change the length of an animation inside of Canva. So if you're not used to using animation, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about today. So let's head right in. Here I am inside of the main dashboard, and I'm just going to show you how you can do this. Now I typically use an animation at the end of every YouTube video, which is actually my end screen. And I'm gonna show you exactly how that looks. So now this is one of two end screens that I typically use inside of my YouTube videos and I use them at the very end. Now you can create any type of animation that you want. Um, if you wanna do presentations, you can do that. But one of the great thing about them is, is that you can adjust the length of these animations. At the end of the end screen for my YouTube videos, there's a maximum limit of 20 seconds for the end of that end screen. So I don't have to use the entire 20 seconds. So this is my end screen that I use to be able to add, you know, the next video that you guys can watch or maybe I want two videos to show up here but I don't want to use the entire amount so different um, images inside of Canva will allow you different times so now one way that you can adjust the duration of the video is to just use this little area right up here at the right at the left hand well a little bit at the left hand corner but at the top of your page. So this is called editing your timer. This particular video that I am using or this animation I'm using gives me an animation time of 30. And this is typically average for any type of you know, animation that you're using inside of Canva. But like I said, because this is the end screen of my YouTube video, I can only use a maximum of 20 and I usually don't like to use that either. People get very impatient and they will click off of your video. So I've made this 15. So you can adjust your times right here where the edit timer is and you can adjust it to whatever you want. So if I wanted my end screen to be 10 seconds, I can adjust it to 10. Now I have to have a minimum of five seconds. So I never usually use five. I like that little middle point of, or a little bit higher than 10. So I usually keep it at 15 seconds. So this is where this is, 15 seconds for this end screen. And I can show you exactly how this works, especially if I download it. But before I move on, I wanna show you how you can create you know, an animation and adjust the end screens if you're looking to do so. So let's head right over to a blank page. All right, so here we are on Canva's homepage. I'm just gonna to go to the search bar and I'm gonna type in animations. And if you type in animations, you're gonna notice that if you scroll down, you will see right here where it says search animations. I'm gonna click on that. All right, so here we are inside of a page of about 38,000 animations. And Canva does have a lot. I mean, Canva has so many animations to choose from. There's just a lot for you to choose from in terms of the designs that you want. So just go ahead and choose one that you find, you know, most interesting. Now, before I get started, I'm going to say that these right here with the crown in the, in the left hand corner is Canva Pro. I'm going to try and find one that is not Canva Pro, but if not, I will just choose one that just looks the best. Okay. So let's see what we are finding. And I, Looks like this is an end screen here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. Okay, so what I have right here is another type of outro or what we would call an end screen for YouTube. And I just wanna show you how this works with editing the time or changing the duration of the time. As you can see right now, down here at the bottom, these are the durations of each clip. So the first clip is uh, 2.8 seconds, the second clip is 2.5, and the third clip is 2.8. So if I just take this and I move this all the way, actually I'll do it this way. I'm just gonna go ahead and play it. And we can see exactly how long this clip is. I'm actually looking up here in the corner cause this is an 8.2 second clip. That's exactly how it would look. 
So now if you wanted to adjust the duration of each one of these clips, then all you would have to do is drag this clip over. So you can drag the clip over. If you can see, I'm just grabbing it by the very end. I'm just gonna drag the clip over a little bit. Now I can make this clip a 4.0 clip or I can go a little bit further and make it a 5.3. Now, once I make this a 5.1, I'm sorry, this becomes, this still remains a 2.5 and it's a 2.8. But if you look up here at the right hand corner, now this entire uh, clip or end screen is gonna be 10.5 seconds. Before it was a little bit over eight seconds. So you can adjust the duration of how long you want each clip to be. And this is how it works with animation because obviously animation is all about movement and things like that. So you can easily just slide these back and forth. I can even um, make this a little bit smaller take it down to 3.4 second, 3.2 seconds. And then I can move the middle portion. I can move this middle portion out right here and make that one a 4.8 second. And now the duration is gonna be 10.3. So if you play this screen, this is actually how it's going to look. So this is 3.2 seconds. The second clip is 4.3 seconds. And the third clip is 2.8 seconds. Now let's say that you only wanted two of these clips and you didn't care to have the subscribe. Then all you can have to do is click on these three dots right here. If you hover over the clip that you don't want, and then you can delete that page so you can easily delete it, but that's not what I'm going to do. So what I will do is, is that I will show you how you can split these in half. So let's just say that you want to split this and, write something or have something completely different. I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Let's do this one instead. So this very last clip I wanted to show, I thought it would show up on the second one, but the third one, we're gonna split the page in half. If you split the page in half, now you get an even 1.2 seconds and an even 1.6 seconds. And so you can actually type something different. So you can have subscribe here and you can have something else here. So if you want to, you know, tell them to check out another video, you can have that as well. So you can easily delete this and say, or you can put latest video and you can have this just like that. Now, when you actually play this, you can have multiple clips. So we can go ahead and push play and it says, thanks for watching. Like and comment, subscribe, and latest video. And then it goes to the very beginning. If this is gonna be your outro or your end screen, then you can add that video somewhere along this screen. So you can move this down and you can place those right here above it. And that's not gonna be done, of course, inside of Canva, but when you upload your outro onto YouTube, then you'll be able to do it that way. You know, this is just an example of how you can use animation and how you can adjust the timing on it. This is where you would adjust the timing on each clip and it can be done. Now before in the past, you know, you used to get stuck with, you know, maybe a five second clip and then that was it. But now Canva of course allows for you to adjust the duration of these clips. So you can either, you know, drag them out longer, you can delete them. You know, you can uh, add what you want in the space. You can make them shorter. If you want to, you know, add your name anywhere, you can do that as well. And like I said, there's many clips for you to use. Uh, there's just tons of animation clips. And this is how you adjust the duration of the animated videos. Now let's say that we want to download this. So if we wanted to download it, then it would work pretty much just the same way. You can go up here to the top where it says share and we are going to go to download and it's already in mp4 video format we are going to do all four clips so all four of them so you can do all pages and then i'm going to hit download and then as it's downloading it usually takes a second depending on how long it is because it is an animation then we will be able to check it out and see the actual video all right, so here it is over on the left-hand side. 
you can go ahead and click that or I probably can just go to my downloads. So let's go ahead and open it up. So they're very short. And in the left hand corner, you can see how fast each one of them went, which is a total of nine seconds over here. So I'm not quite sure if you can see that, but yeah, that went by very fast. It is not a very long video, but of course you can make them longer than this, but each clip has its own duration. So if I do that again, you have three seconds, you have a second, then a couple more seconds, and then a two second and then the very end of it. So that's how that one is done. I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna show you how this looks on my end screen. So this is my end screen that I use on my YouTube channel pretty much. I'm using them mainly on Canva and right now I have this set at 15 seconds. And like I said before, that's just due to the maximum amount of time that these end screens run, which are 20 seconds for YouTube. I'm gonna change it to 10. Just gonna take it down a notch, change it to 10 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and save that, file save. And then I am going to download this one so that you can see. Now in total, it will show 30 seconds because it's including my second end screen, but I'm not going to download that one. So I'm just gonna go to share, download, and it's not going to be both. It's only going to be the first one, which I adjusted at 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna download it. Okay, so it's ready now and here it is on the left hand side. I'm going to open this up and show you exactly how it looks. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit open. I don't think that is done. So now I'm going to hit open and we can watch it. So exactly 10 seconds. If you look over in the left hand corner, you will see right here where it's showing 7, 8, 9, 10. So there it is, 10 seconds. So you can adjust the duration however you want. It is completely up to you on how long that you want your um, video to be. And like I said, I'm just using these as examples because they're in screens. Now guys, if you like this video, then make sure that you check out another video that I have, how to insert clickable links inside of Canva. This is definitely the updated version. I have a couple of them out there, but you're really gonna enjoy this. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm always kicking out videos just like this. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.